Hi, this is Tom Salemi from OIS TV. Very happy to be here with Dr. Calvin Roberts. Thank you very much. Chief Medical Officer of Bosch and Lom. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we talked about this before the interview. How long uh, have you, how long has it been since you've practiced medicine? Yeah, well, I practiced medicine for 25 years, mm -hmm. and now it's uh, seven, eight years since I last practiced. So are you still a physician? I am still a physician, <laughs> and, I think, and I think it's really what colors my approach to Bausch and Lomb and, and our business there. Because, because what I'm always thinking about, what can we do for patients and what can we do for doctors? Mm -hmm. And so when I think about what's different today than it was, say, from when I was in practice, even just seven, eight years ago, it's really about how many more tools are in the tool bag for, for doctors. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, we have all these advances in cataract and in retina, but think about all the things that we're doing for ocular surface and dry eyes that we couldn't do even seven years ago. So, so that's kind of how I see ophthalmology, as what can we do to give doctors just more and more tools so that they can take better and better care of patients. And that's great that you say the doctors, because in so many other specialties, the control seems to be taken away from the doctors. Ophthalmology, not, not yet at least. It's still, it still is a doctor's business. It really is. It really is. And it's uh, two things. It's a doctor's business, and the doctors can make decisions on behalf of their patients. Mm -hmm. So in a lot of areas, either managed care or insurance or something dictates that you have to do this or you have to do that or you have to use this drug or this procedure. And in ophthalmology, doctors can make all kinds of decisions with their patient. What IOL, multifocal, TORC, what, what drugs, what are, we, what are we going to do? How are we going to approach it? Sustained delivery, put in drops, have an injection. And all these, the doctor gets involved in. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what makes it fun. What, what uh, led to your decision to not, be, not practice medicine anymore? Well, so it started out that um, I, I helped to co-found Alamir Sciences, mm -hmm. which was in 2000, 2003. And that kind of gave me an opportunity to kind of get in and understand the pharmaceutical industry. And then um, Brent Saunders called me at Bausch and Lomb and said that he wanted to do something that no company had ever done before, which was to actually take a doctor in practice and put the doctor at the executive team of, of the company. Mm -hmm. And so what we try to do at Bausch and Lomb is really try to think about everything we do in the perspective of the doctor. So whatever we do at Bausch and Lomb tries to kind of go through my filter as to what would I like to see if I was, if I was in, in practice. And so um, what I do at Bausch and Lomb is, is, is I look for opportunities that I can bring doctors into the discussion and say, gee, tell us what we could do as a company that would benefit you and then, oh my gosh, there are so many things that we could do that could benefit the doctor. See, when I was in practice years ago, um, I kind of thought that, well, doctors do this and industry does this. Mm -hmm. okay? And now I kind of, I've realized over these years that, you know what, if industry lets the doctor in, it really helps us. And if doctors let the industry in, it really helps them. And so it's really, really formed a partnership. And the ophthalmology industry has gone through the last year or two some, some uh, changes in leadership, some companies being acquired, not being acquired. Okay. Does that reach sort of the doctor level? Do the ophthalmologists sort of sense, I don't want to say it's, uh, it's uh, uncertainty, but just the, the, the unevenness of, what's of the landscape right now? Does it, does it reach the office or is it really a separate no, I, I think it does. Because right now at Bausch & Lomb, we're in this great position of being stable. Mm -hmm. We have the same leadership team doing the same things now for, for several years. You know, Tracy Villori and Ray Larwood running our pharma di division, and Andy Chang and Chuck Hess and Brad Hurd in the surgical di 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 division, Mark McKenna, Guy Guglielmino in contact lenses, uh, we're, we're Joe Gordon in, in consumer. So that same team has been running Bausch & Lomb now for several years. Mm -hmm. And so what that does is it really allows us to focus on the business and focus on the doctors. And I think doctors see the difference when you have the company that is focused rather than the company that's trying to figure out what they're doing back at headquarters and maybe taking, a little, taking their eye a little bit off the ball in terms of what's happening in, in the field. Mm -hmm. So uh, we kind of are enjoying this, this period now. This is a period where things are going really, really well for, for Bausch and Lomb. 
But there's, you know, there's obviously been some things going on at the parent company uh, level of yours. Um, you're, you're operating independently of that. You're, you're able to function B&L separately. You're the same yeah, leadership think, team moving I forward. That, I think that people don't realize how independently Bausch & Lomb operates. Mm -hmm. and, and so that we're really fortunate. We, we have a new CEO in, in, in Joe Papa, who uh, really believes in science, believes in the role of doctors and patients. And so he's really kind of infused that feeling into us. They really focus ourselves on really, what is our goal? Mm -hmm. Our goal is really to help, help patients. And so um, with his leadership and our existing team, um, this is a really good time for us. Excellent. And where do we see Bausch & Lomb going uh, in the future? You mentioned you've got, you've got your hands in pharma and med tech. Is there one area that may get more attention than the other going forward? Uh, what, what are some yeah, of the priorities? Yeah, in my years at, at Bausch and Lomb now, this is, I think, the first time that I can tell you that each one of our divisions is accelerating. Mm -hmm. So in pharma, we're really looking forward to the launch of latanoprostine bunut later this year. So as you know, that latanoprostine bunut is the first drug that has ever shown clinical superiority to latanoprost in, in our phase two trial and showed superiority to Timolol in the registration phase, phase three trial. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of a really unique drug. I mean, Zalatan, latanoprost, has been the gold standard for 20 years. There's never before been a drug that actually showed superior IOP lowering to, to latanoprost. To latan mm -hmm. So this is really exciting for us. So we're looking forward to that. So that's kind of the big news that's coming out of the pharma area. Over in surgical, now our IOLs are doing really well. We, had, we acquired Synergetics mm -hmm. at the end of last year, and that's just really infused a, a lot of excitement in our surgical group. You know, a lot of people say, well, I'm a cataract surgeon. What does it matter that you brought a vitrectomy company in? Well, as a cataract surgeon, whenever I needed to do something in the vitreous, I was always using the retina guys' tools. So everything was, was developed for retina guys. So now what we're going to do is come up with a full line of surgical instrumentation for the cataract guy who needs to work in the vitreous. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'm really kind of excited about what we're doing there kind of on the, on the surgical side. Uh, over in contact lenses, wow. Contact lenses is the part of Bausch & Lomb that's kind of really growing right now. We've had the double digit growth for each of the last three years. Two whole new platforms for contact lenses are Bausch & Lomb Ultra, which is our plan replacement lens, and our BioTrue One Day, which is our daily disposable lenses. Came out first in spheres, now in multifocals. And if you want to try something magnificent, you have to try our multifocal I IOL. It's spectacular. I've been wearing them now for, for a couple of years. I see like I sort of like a kid. I can see everything close. I see everything. No. I see everything far. Uh, so I'm, I am <clears throat> not just a hair club for man president here. Uh, I love these, love these contact lenses. So contact lenses is, is doing, doing well. We're going to come out with new contact lens care um, products. So, mm -hmm. so um, the whole company is kind of accelerating all at one time. Uh, I'm starting to get the presbyopia thing happening, so I'm I'm uh, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'll have to follow uh, up right, after good, this conversation. Good. Where are you? How are you innovating at, at BNL? Is this something you're going to continue to look at? How will your internal internal innovation look uh, going forward? Do you anticipate and do you expect to look out and perhaps acquire more interesting technologies yeah, like you did? Uh, well, so we do we do a lot of in-house basic research, especially in the polymer chemistry area. Mm -hmm. We're always coming up with new materials for contact lenses, and that all happens just at the level of test tubes and things happening right within Bausch & Lomb. Um, we, we do partnerships with academia. We, we, have, we have partnerships with, with other companies. Um, I hope you saw the announcement just today the, uh, about um, that we're working with IBM. And so IBM is developing an app for us for the uh, iPad and, and the iPhone hmm. the, that will be for doctors in their surgical suite to, to help with IOL calculations and, and powers and will use new modern smart um, technologies to, to really make this a very, very powerful instrument for doctors to really better able to handle what's happening in, in surgery. And so uh, this is a very exciting opportunity for us to work with IBM and uh, I think they're excited about working with us too. So would those be used on the uh, devices of the patient or of the physician? 
So on the devices of, of the patient. Okay. And so, the, so we will we'll be able to put iPads in the ORs mm -hmm. that will be uh, helping with uh, accumulating the, the data and helping to interpret the data. Interesting. Fascinating. Yeah. And data is everything these days. And data is everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, as far as looking out for uh, external innovation, do you anticipate uh, any more or less acquiring of of new technologies? Yeah, well, you know, we we are always looking for for the next opportunity, and and so opportunities are not necessarily just those that, that come in in house, but as as you know, you know Synergetics was was a great example mm -hmm. of, of what they did and really made a situation where they took their know how and brought it to Bausch and Love and added that little special sauce that made them such a, such a great company. Um, that's really helped us. And we're going to continue to look for other opportunities. We are open for, open for business, that's Excellent. for sure. Excellent. Well, we appreciate you taking a few minutes with us today. Oh, no, th th this, is, this is great, great fun, and thank you for having me. Excellent.